Welcome back to another episode of the Arc Switch Survival Guide. Today we are going to teach you how to make a massive dinosaur taming pen. This taming pen is going to be big enough to tame things like a Therizinosaur really easily as we just lure them into the huge gates with a flyer. And from there we can just shut them in and it's a really quick easy and safe tame at that point. And we are going to make this taming pen so big that it can fit even massive dinosaurs like a Brontosaurus or a T-Rex very easily into those gates. So it's going to be really easy to tame dinosaurs that would normally be extremely dangerous and difficult without having any danger whatsoever. I mean, check this out. This is a really dangerous Therizinosaur, and it's not any threat to us whatsoever. We are also going to show you how to craft all the materials for this giant taming pen, and how to actually build this on uneven sloping ground, and how to use some shortcuts cuts to save you about half of the material costs. So this should be a very helpful episode for anyone who wants to tame some really dangerous dinos very easily. So in the last few episodes, we've showed you how to get crazy amounts of materials, like thousands and thousands of stone, thatch, and wood in just a matter of minutes. And I'm sorry that those videos haven't been full of tons of action lately. I usually try to mix it up so there's some gathering, some tips, some action. But it's been a lot of gathering lately, and the main reason for that is because this giant dinosaur taming pen that we're making today is going to take a crazy amount of materials. I need to make the front gate as a behemoth stone dinosaur gateway because that is the only gate that's big enough to let things like a Brontosaurus and a Paraceratherium get through it. So I'm actually making those in the smithy because they take so many materials it's impossible to hold all of them on your person at the same time. So we're going to get all of the materials we need, which is just stupid amounts of stone, thatch, and wood, and put all of them into the smithy. And to save time, I'm able to just type in the search box and type the first few letters of wood, thatch, and stone, and that'll let me select all of the wood, thatch, and stone all by itself. And then I can hit these arrows to transfer all of it at once. And as long as I'm standing within reach of the smithy, I don't have to take any steps so I can carry just thousands and thousands of wood at the same time without having to make multiple trips. So that's going to make things a lot faster in moving these materials around and getting this smithy full of all the stuff we need. So here we go. We've got the behemoth stone gateway and the gate itself all finished. So I'm going to start making this dinosaur pen by laying down that behemoth gateway. But first, it looks like I've got a couple Tapehara eggs right here next to my base, which is great. So I've lined up all of my female Tapeharas on the roof of the base so that any of their poop and eggs fall right down in front of the door, and I will notice them whenever they land. I've also got the males giving them a mate boost for faster egg laying, and an over raptor right below them, giving them an egg boost, which gets them faster eggs. So that's all very helpful for getting a lot of eggs for kibble. Now I'm scouting out this area right here, which is going to be an ideal spot to make this huge dinosaur pen. And the reason for that is because I've got a nice natural corner of stone right along here, and I can use that to, as a wall, and that's going to save me about 50% of the building materials, because I've only got to make two walls instead of four. It also has this great natural slope right up here, and then a ledge right above it. So I can sit on the ledge and attack stuff, but I can also get big dinosaurs like a brontosaurus to chase me over the ledge and they'll fall into the dino taming pen. So that's going to be really helpful if I'm fighting something that can do a lot of damage to me really quickly. So I'm going to try to move this around and I've actually got this little tree here on the edge and I've been using that kind of as a guideline because that can give me an idea of about where I want to put stuff. 
Now I always try to stand on the inside of my dino pens because when you place a giant door frame like this, that usually helps it to open outwards and that'll be a little easier to work with. Now you can see here it's close to even, but part of it is kind of hanging off the edge here. So I've put down the gate and I'm gonna kind of move around and see if I like where it is. But I think that's gonna work pretty nicely to funnel dinosaurs into this corner. Yeah, that's just about perfect. So if I can use that and build a wall from the edge of that dino gateway all the way up to the wall here of stone, then I'm gonna have a really nice dino taming pen. And part of the walls will be a natural cliff, which will make it impossible for dinos to get up to me. And it'll be a great spot for me to shoot down on. So this behemoth gateway is so big, even a brontosaurus can fit through it, so it's gonna be really ideal for trapping dinos, but it will probably be easier for me to lure the dinos down over the cliff if I can get them up to that side, and then we just keep them inside, tame them up, and then use the door to let them out. So now I've got this giant behemoth gateway in place. I wanna find a landmark that I can use to make the walls end at that landmark. And this little palm tree right here is gonna be a pretty good spot. I'd like the walls to go all the way up to there and that'll give me a good bit of space next to that cliff so I can lure big dinosaurs over the cliff and into the dino taming pen. So let me get some regular stone dinosaur gateways, which seem tiny compared to the behemoth stone gateway. It's crazy the scale because, uh, you know, a stone gateway is huge, but compared to this thing, it's just tiny. So look at that. I mean, that's ridiculous. So that's why it takes so stinking much stone and wood to make that behemoth gateway. Now it actually makes a lot of sense when you're looking at it. So I'm going to try to align the corners next to each other, and they want to snap together, but I just want them to actually clip into each other. Now we've got some very small gaps at the bottom here, and that might be enough for tiny things like trudons and compies to get under, but I'm not too worried about that because most of what we're gonna be taming is gonna be quite big. Now it wants to snap these gates again, but I'm just gonna try to get these to line up and uh, kind of put them at the angle that I want them to. And sometimes it helps to do that if you get where you wanna be and then you kind of move your body Body up and down until they align where you want them. And I want the highlight to kind of clip into the other dino gateway. So none of these are exactly even, but you can see they clip into the ground a little bit. Now I have a setting in my settings for my server, which is, you know, just my local game, which has the uh, enable structure clipping enabled. And what that does is it actually allows me to clip structures into each other and into the ground. So if you have trouble putting stuff down and it says it's obstructed or something like that, then you can actually change that setting in their settings and it makes it much easier to play stuff because you can build right into a rock face and stuff like that. So I really like having that on my game, but uh, oh, not quite. Got a little bit of a gap there and I'm a bit of a perfectionist, so I'm just going to pick this up. And once again, you know, hopefully, eventually, the Arc Switch game will get the Homestead update, and that's what allows you to pick up structures within 30 seconds after placing them. So while I'm continuing this wall, I'll just let you guys know that we are going to have a lot of much more interesting episodes in the very near future. Once we finish this taming pen, we are going to go on a taming spree and get all kinds of helpful and crazy dinosaurs. We're going to be in really good shape for taming anything that we find nearby and I'll teach you all about some of the most helpful dinos in Ark and we'll be taming a whole lot of them. We'll also get some good dinos that lay eggs we can use for different types of kibble and that's going to be really helpful too. So the next bunch of episodes should be much more interesting, much more action, and much more fun. So be sure to keep watching this channel and I hope I didn't lose you with all of the gaps gathering tricks. I know that uh, they are extremely helpful for a lot of you, but they're not quite as entertaining as some of my other videos. So just keep in mind, it will be lots of fun in the future. 
So I've been having some trouble with the uh, stone gateways trying to snap to each other, but sometimes if you don't look at what it's trying to snap to, it makes it a lot easier to get it to go without snapping. But if you look at something, it oftentimes will try to snap to it. Now this last part is going to be kind of difficult because we've got a very narrow gap between this uh, stone gateway and this cliff. And I'm trying to get this to fit without, uh, you know, clipping into the ground, and it's kind of difficult. Now, one thing I could do if I had the uh, default settings for a server is I could make a smaller wall, and you can actually build a wall off of a foundation, but you can also use stone fence foundations, and that's really what they're designed for. So you lay a fence foundation on the ground, and you can build a wall right on top of it, and that will allow you to make that fence foundation go in any direction. And I could have built this entire wall system using fence foundations, which might have been a little bit easier, but it's so much faster using these giant dinosaur gateways. And also I can open and close them, which is kind of handy sometimes. Now if you have the Ark Homestead update, you can actually get wood, metal, and stone fence supports, which is a structure that works just like fence foundations, only instead of clipping to the land and building up, it actually builds level with your walls and clips into the land, so you can make nice, even-looking walls, which is really nice. But once again, that's with the Ark Homestead update, so you can't do that with Switch, which is why I'm just using the traditional supplies to make this giant taming pen. So I have to say this turned out really well. This is going to give us all of this surface area to lure a big dino over this cliff, and if it goes over anywhere around there, it falls into the taming pen, and that's going to be enough to keep just about anything pretty well trapped. So I am going to put the rest of these doors on these gateways, and it's going to be a lot easier if I just land my flyer. Here we go. It's just really hard to place buildings while you're flying. I do it sometimes, but uh, it's not always the best. So there we go. We now have a solid wall made of doors, so we can open up any of these walls as needed. So now we can get a dino to chase us from the river all the way up to this gate, and as long as that's open, just about anything can fit into there. And since it is so big, even smaller dinos will have a much easier time getting trapped in here. Now all we've got to do is get something in there and then close the door behind it and it'll be totally trapped. Now in the next couple episodes, we'll also be teaching you how to make a remote control keypad which can close any doors even from a really great distance away. So that's going to be another really helpful thing that we can do and we'll show you how to do that later. But I hope this was helpful for you. And in the next couple episodes, we'll be taming some really crazy, big, and dangerous dinosaurs. And we'll tell you all about those pretty soon. But it's going to be a whole lot of fun. We're going to go on a whole bunch of taming expeditions and get all kinds of crazy dinos. And we'll teach you all about them and why they're helpful. And in the next episode, we're going to show you how to tame a crazy Therizinosaur, which is really dangerous but extremely helpful for so many things. And we're actually going to try to use our frog for part of the tame, so it should be quite interesting and very entertaining. So if this episode was helpful, please like this video, and we'd love to hear your feedback. Let us know if you have any questions about anything that you saw or how to do any of these things. Also, let us know if you use a dino taming pen for your own ARC adventures, or if you have some other cool trick that's similar. We'd love to hear about it. A lot of you have really great tricks and suggestions, and that's really helpful when you drop a comment. And if you have not yet subscribed to this channel, please subscribe and ring that bell for notifications so it will tell you when the next video comes out because it's about to get really fun and we've got a lot of cool adventures that we're going to go on very soon. And if you want to see more of my videos, my wife and I have a YouTube channel that we're trying to get off the ground called Console Co-op Couple where the two of us play a lot of console games together and it's a whole lot of fun. I think you'd love watching her play video games too and it would really help us out a a lot if you jump over there and subscribe to that channel too. And until next time, I hope your ARC adventures are safe and fun. See you in the next video. 
Thanks so much for watching this video from the Ark Survival Guide. If you enjoyed it or found it helpful, please like this video and subscribe to our channel so we can bring you more great guides like this one. Ark is an amazing game, but there is so much to learn before you can really enjoy it. We are dedicated to bringing you high quality guides, tutorials, and let's play videos that are fun, helpful, clean, and suitable for the entire family. There's a tutorial in this series for everything we have done so far in this video. Check out these playlists for more episodes from this series and other guides to help you enjoy your journey on ARC.